Hello, and welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I will show you how to configure the Orbit MCR to Modbus TCP terminal server mode. The Orbit MCR allows the setup of the COM ports as a terminal server that passes data to and from the serial port to network interfaces. The serial port must be configured to do this in addition to the baud rate and data format. The data from the serial port is treated as a seamless stream, meaning it is not protocol aware and will send data from the serial port to the remote endpoint as soon as the data is received. A terminal server can consist of a TCP server, a TCP client, a UDP endpoint, and a Modbus TCP server. Once a TCP connection is established, then serial traffic from the COM port can pass to and from the TCP port as long as the TCP connection remains established. When a terminal server on the unit is configured as a Modbus TCP server, then the unit listens on a TCP port for a client connection. Once a TCP connection is established, the unit will convert the incoming Modbus TCP frame into either a Modbus RTU or Modbus ASCII frame for transmitting on the serial port. Serial data received is converted from either Modbus RTU or Modbus ASCII to Modbus TCP for transmission back to the Modbus TCP client. In the setup displayed here, two Orbit units are configured for Modbus TCP server mode listening on a specific IP port. When data comes into the unit on that IP port, it will be forwarded out the serial port into the RTU device. The RTU responds with data appropriately based on the IP message it received. I will configure the server to use COM1 serial port, therefore to communicate with the device I am logged in using a secure SSH connection. When the device is configured, I'll demonstrate the feature by pulling a simulated RTU using the Modbus protocol. To configure this using the web GUI, log in as admin and click Services on the left. Then click Serial. Click Basic Config and then Terminal Server. Click on Add, then select the serial port to be used as the terminal server. Click on Add, then select Modbus TCP from the Choices dropdown. Check Modbus TCP and then configure the remaining parameters as best fits your system. When done, click Finish. Verify that the port being used has the correct baud rate and format under the Ports menu. Make any changes necessary and then click Save to apply the configuration. Now I can show you how to do this using the console. Log in as the administrator and enter configure mode by typing configure. Enter the following command. This will enable the COM1 serial port to be a terminal server listening on port 502 with an idle timeout of 15 seconds. It will be using the Modbus TCP terminal server mode and also using mode RTU. To show the configuration, issue the command show services serial terminal server. This will give you an idea if you've set this up correctly. When finished, commit the configuration by typing commit. Let's step it up a notch and start pulling a whole system through the cell network. Pictured here, an Orbit MCR with access to the public cell network. Also, five remotes or stations are connected to the central unit and set up in Modbus TCP terminal server mode. The goal for this setup is to send a Modbus request to the public IP address on the access point and have that packet forwarded to each remote unit. Each RTU will respond back with digital and analog values to the management PC that initiated the request. Note, now that we're using the cell interface to come into our unit, port forwarding rules must be set up. Please watch the port forwarding training video for more information about configuring this feature as it will not be covered in this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, visit our website at www.gemds.com.